Hello everyone, Cindy here with Monarch Mom DIY. Thank you so much for joining me today on my channel where I love to bring you the best tips and tools to inspire you to create beautiful home decor on a budget. And sometimes companies reach out to me and they want me to share with you a product. Now, I usually say no to those unless it's something that I really feel would fit with my channel. So when Paris Roan reached out to me about their little air fryer they wanted me to demo for you, I thought, you know what? Making recipes, that's DIY. So I decided to try this product out and share it with you. I'm going to share with you some of the features of the product, and then I'm going to create two recipes with you on this video as well. So with all that being said, let's get cooking. So like I said, today I will be demoing for you the Paris Roan Air Fryer Oven. Here are the technical parameters of it. It is fairly small, but you could easily cook for two or three people. It comes with a user manual that has all the specifications and instructions. I thought this was really cool, a refrigerator magnet that has a bunch of tips for doing your favorite meats, veggies, frozen foods, desserts, seafoods, and so on when using this machine. This one was called the little frying basket. You'll see I'm gonna use this in this video. You also have a little baking rack that you can put items on. And then this one was called a gridiron in the user manual, but I think you could actually like bake in this little pan. You also have this tray handle for easily moving things in and out and a crumb tray here at the bottom, which you can pull out to clean easily. I thought that was pretty genius. You have a temperature knob, a timer knob in the middle, and then a function knob for air fry, toast, bake, roast, and warm. Here is the inside with a 14.8 quart capacity. The first recipe we're gonna make are some fried pickles. So here are the ingredients that you need. I will say that I did have to drain and lay out the pickle chips. Um, this recipe said to get them as dry as possible. Here is our flour, and then in that bowl, you're just going to add your garlic salt, your pepper, and your smoked paprika, and mix that together. Here in your second bowl, you have one egg beaten, and then in the third bowl are the panko breadcrumbs. So I'm gonna be using the little fry basket. You can see I have a paper towel under it. We're going to spray the basket, first of all, with some olive oil spray, just so the pickles don't stick. Then taking your pickle chips one at a time, you can use bread and butter, you can use dill, whichever you'd like. You're going to dredge it in the flour mixture, then dip it in the egg, and then cover it with the panko breadcrumbs. I almost feel like you could put some more seasoning than what it called for in this recipe. The seasoning wasn't very strong. Once you have your tray filled with your pickle chips, go ahead and give them a little spray, and you're gonna put them inside your air fryer. We are going to air fry these at 385 degrees for five to seven minutes. We will not be flipping. The air fryer will get the tops and the bottoms cooked really nicely. Once that timer goes off and your oven turns off, the light goes off, remove those carefully from the air fryer and add them to a plate and then enjoy them. Dip them in whichever sauce you like. I feel like the oven did a really great job of cooking these evenly in the short amount of time. I just, like I said, would have added more seasoning to the recipe. But the air fryer itself did a great job crisping up these little pickle chips. 
The second recipe we're going to make are these Santa Fe wraps. Here again are the ingredients. You can pause to get your list. These were really easy to put together and they were super yummy. So you've got your two cups of shredded chicken. I went the easy route and just did canned. Rinse a can of black beans and add that to the chicken. Drain a can of corn and add that. And at this point I was thinking that I needed a bigger bowl but I'm gonna go ahead and add the equivalent of one packet of taco seasoning, about three tablespoons, and then I needed to transfer to a bigger bowl. So <laughs> use a bigger bowl and mix all of this really well. And then we're also going to add about two cups of shredded cheese of your choice. You can use Monterey Jack. I used a Fiesta blend from Walmart. So once you have all of that in the bowl, again, just mix it really, really well. I feel like these had really good flavor. You could add more spices if you want, maybe add more of the taco seasoning. Then taking some soft taco size tortillas, I'm just gonna grab a handful of the mixture, place it on the tortilla and folding in the sides and then rolling it as tight as I can, you're going to roll these up. I could fit three of these on the little frying basket. So once you get those rolled up, just set that seam side down on your little frying basket. I'm going to, like I said, do two more of these and add them to my frying basket, and then we will get ready to add them to the oven to air fry. Once we had our three wraps on our tray, we're going to spray them with that same olive oil cooking spray. We're gonna add those into our air fryer oven and air fry them at 400 degrees for five minutes. When that five minutes is up, we are going to take them out, turn them over, spray them again, and do another five minutes. I have to say I was very impressed with how this little air fryer performed on the two recipes that I tried out. They were both delicious. The air fryer does what it says it's gonna do. It is on the smaller side, like I said, for maybe two or three people. But if you're interested in checking it out, there are links in the description box of this video and also a discount code for my subscribers. Thanks so much for joining me today. Please let me know in the comments what you thought of this video. Let me know if you want to see some more recipe DIYs on my channel, and we'll see you next time. Take care.